Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about plant breeding part 2. Already in part 1 I have, I have given plant breeding introduction and uh, its aim and objective and different types of uh, methods used in plant breeding. If you want to see that video, you can go through the link given below. Hybridization procedure. The whole process of hybridization involves many steps and needs skill. Different steps are selection of parents, selfing of parents, emasculation, bagging, crossing, harvesting hybridized seeds and rising F1 generation plants, F2 generation and hybridization methods, trials and multiplication and distribution. Selection of parents. It is always better to select local locally available plants as parents because they are already adopted to that climate parents must be healthy and uh, possess desirable qualities selfing of parents plant selected as parent or self pollinated to minimize heterozygosity to increase homozygosity Selfing need not be done in naturally self-pollinated crops. Selfing helps in eliminating undesirable characters. Plants obtained after selfing are called inbreed line and this process is called inbreeding. Emasculation. Removal of stamens from flower before anthesis is called emasculation. The flower of the male parent only are emasculated to prevent self fertilization. Emasculation may be done with forceps or by dipping the flower bud in hot water that is up to 45 to 53 degrees centigrade for about 1 to 10 minutes. Male sterile line may be may also be used to avoid emasculation. Bagging. Flowers of female parent are covered by paper or polythene bags and closed at their mouth after emasculation. This prevent undesirable cross-pollination. Bags on the female parent retained until seed formation. Crossing is this is a artificial cross pollinated between genetically unlike plant pollen from the flower of the male parent are carefully selected bags of the emasculated flower are temporarily removed pollen is transferred to the stigmas the flowers are again bagged immediately after crossing the cross pollinated flowers are properly labeled with details Harvesting hybrid seed and raising F1 generation. After the maturation of seeds, bags are removed, seed is harvested, dried, cleaned and stored properly along with its label. In the next season, these seeds are sown, F1 generation hybrid plants are raised. F2 generation hybridization method. F2 generation plants are produced by selfing F1 hybrid. F2 plants with desirable characters are carefully identified and developed further by different selection methods. This method differ from self and cross pollinated crops. Cross uh, or self pollinated crops are produced by pedigree method, bulk method, back cross method whereas cross pollinated crops are produced by single cross double cross three way cross top cross and multiple cross next is the trial multiplication and distribution a hybrid variety produced as outlined above is subjected to rigorous testing by scientists at different regional research in station yield and resistance trial are conducted seeds are multiplied in the seed multiplication forms and finally distributed to farmer for regular cultivation merits hybridization create variation due to new genetic recombination heritable variation are the source of evolution the hybridization result in hybrid vigor it bring together all the useful or desirable factors and concentrate them into a single variety demerits it is a tedious time consuming and expensive process it may sometimes result in 
sterility of the hybrids it can't be practiced by farmer because the technical difficulties achievements achievements uh, example for them is wheat and p 165 and np 710 etc heterosis or hybrid vigor hybrid plants are usually superior to their parent in characteristics like height yield size of fruit or grain resistance etc the superiority of the hybrid over its parent is called hybrid vigor or heterosis heterosis may be defined as the increased vigor growth and yield of hybrid over the parents resulting from the crossing of genetically unlike organism shall observe the continuous inbreeding or self fertilization in maize result in gradual loss of vigor in the hybrid line he called this inbreeding depression he also showed that the vigor that was lost can be recovered or increased by crossing plant of two different inbreed line process of recovering heterosis heterosis is largely exploited to increase the yield in many crops like maize sorghum cotton bajra etc different steps of improving cultivars by utilizing heterosis are described different kinds of inbreeding lines are produced plant of these inbreeding lines are usually homozygous from many alleles <clears throat> for many alleles inbreed lines are produced by repeated self pollination up to 5 to 7 generation cross crosses are made between different inbreed lines these are called single cross superior hybrid are selected from progeny obtained due to single crosses the crosses are made between the hybrid plant produced in the single crosses single cross hybrids this is called double cross more hybrid vigor is expressed due to double crosses in crops like sorghum and cotton seeds obtained out of single cross are used hybrid vigor in such crop is gradually lost therefore hybrid seeds are produced afresh every year and are distributed to farmer in maize double cross hybrids are used they retain hybrid vigor for few generation heterosis obtained by crossing is called balanced heterosis and uh, that obtained from mutation is called mutational heterosis mutation breeding improvement of crop by changing the genotype of the plant through induced mutation is called mutation breeding mutation which occur in a single gene or a gene level or molecular level are called gene mutation or point mutation mutation that bring about change in the number and structure of chromosome are called chromosomal mutation mutation that occur in vegetative part are called somatic or cytoplasmic mutation mutation that occur automatically in nature are called spontaneous mutation and those occur artificially are called induced mutation the agent which induce mutation is called mutagens different type of mutagens are given in the table like uh, physically um, there are two types of mutagens one is physical and chemical physical uh, mutagens are uh, radiations like ionizing radiation or non ionizing in case of ionizing uh, radiation there are uh, f- five types alpha rays beta rays x rays gamma rays and neutrons whereas uh, non ionizing radiation are uh, uv rays chemicals like mustard gas caffeine malic hydroxide and uh, des ems mms nitrous oxide hydroxyl amine and five bromouracil or chemical mutagens mutation breeding is the ultimate step of crop improvement when the whole of the naturally occurring variability in a crop is exhausted it brings about greater uh, genetic variability the variability created is long lasting demerits it produce many recessive mutants it needs radi- radiation 
facilities which is a costly affair conventional method of selections are necessary to isolate and uh, screen out superior varieties achievements many new varieties of croplands were developed through mutation breeding one is uh, one example is the wheat variety called uh, sonar sabarmati sonar polyploidy breeding majority of croplands are usually diploid their haploid or uh, gametic number of chromosome is called genome the term polyploidy denotes the number of times the basic number of any individual is repeated or multiplied plants having more than two set of chromosome are referred to as polyploids they may be triploid tetraploid or also uh, many so many there are many crop varieties which are naturally polyploids when compared to diploid polyploid show more vigor less fertility they produce fruits of bigger size without seeds hence these are useful in crop where the seed is not the economic product the exploitation of polyploidy contain condition for crop improvement is called polyploidy breeding the kinds of polyploids um, are polyploids are of two types they are auto polyploid and allo polyploid auto polyploid these are polyploid organism having similar set of chromosomes all the genomes are genetically identical these are different from auto polyploid like auto tetraploid and auto hexaploid auto ploid can be induced by different agent like high or low temperature chemical mutagen like uh, acinonaphthene colchicin coumarin etc colchicin inhibit the formation of spindle fiber during metaphase as a result karyokinesis does not occur and the chromosome number of the treated cell get doubled auto polyploid differ from their diploid uh, that is having a large stomata late flowering slow growth large leaves and flower etc achievements many auto polyploid variety of rye radish mustard grapes rice barley watermelon sugar beets etc were produced and are now in use sterile seedless triploid varieties of watermelon uh, sugar beets etc were produced next is allo polyploids these are polyploid organism having dissimilar set of chromosomes allo polyploids are produced by crossing distinctly related genera of the same family the f1 plant produced by this method are usually sterile they are made fertile by chromosome doubling with colchicin then they are called hemiploid or or allo tetraploid wheat tobacco and cotton are naturally occurring allo polyploid crops achievement synthetic genera like uh, raffano brassica triticalis etc are created triticalis is the only man made cereal crop sterile plants are produced which are extensively used in genetic studies parasexual hybridization through protoplasm uh, protoplast fusion the process of obtaining hybrid by any method other than usual sexual method is called parasexual hybridization parasexual hybrid can be produced by inducing in the inducing in vitro fusion of plant protoplast this is also called somatic hybridization protoplast fusion in tobacco species was successfully carried out by carls carlson et al in 1972 and by power in petunia species technique vegetative cells of the plant to be hybridized are taken their cell wall are removed by enzymatic digestion using cellulase and uh, pectinase protoplasts are obtained they are brought in contact and allowed to fuse protoplast fusion is enhanced by polyethylene glycol or sodium nitrate the fusion product is called heterokaryotic cell it is transferred to a proper nutrient medium and allowed to grow it secretes cell wall around it it gradually develops into new 
hybrid individual nicotiana glauca and, and nicotiana longo longus dorfi thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you